In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, welcome to this celebration of the Stations of the Cross. Let us take a moment to place ourselves at the foot of the cross. Almighty God, you willed that your only Son undergo the cross to save the human race. Grant that we, who have known his mystery on earth, may attain the grace of his redemption in heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The first station, Jesus is sentenced to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Jesus, you stand alone before Pilate. Nobody speaks up for you. Nobody helps defend you. You devoted your life to helping others, listening and caring for those who were ignored by others. They don't seem to remember that as they prepare to put you to death. Sometimes I feel abandoned and afraid. I, too, feel like I am treated unfairly or blamed for things unfairly. I have a difficult time when people criticize me at home or at work. Help me to accept criticism and unfairness as you did. Help me to pray for those who have hurt me. The second station, Jesus accepts the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. Jesus, as you accepted your cross, you knew you would carry it to your death on Calvary. You knew it wouldn't be easy, but you accepted it and carried it just the same. I sometimes feel like I am not appreciated. Sometimes I feel as if I accept more responsibility than I need to. I can feel sorry for myself, even though the crosses others carry are much larger than my own. In my self-pity, I don't reach out to help. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your, your holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Jesus, the cross you have been carrying is very heavy. You are becoming weak and you fall down. Nobody seems to want to help you. The soldiers are interested in getting home, so they yell at you and try to get you up and moving again. I sometimes put things off. I give up too easily and sometimes don't do my work as well as I know I can. The fourth station, Jesus meets Mary, his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. world. Jesus, you feel alone with all the people yelling and screaming at you. You don't like the words they are saying about you, and you look for a friendly face in the crowd. You see your mother. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. Sometimes I feel overwhelmed by many things. Life can be competitive, and I worry about my future and those who have some control over it. I need to remember that being an adult does not mean having to solve every problem all by myself. I need to look around me for a friendly face, for the help I need. The fifth station. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus, the soldiers are becoming impatient. This is taking longer than they expected. They are afraid you won't make it to the hill where you will be crucified. 
As you grow weaker, they grab a man, Simon, a Cyrenian, out of the crowd and make him help carry your cross. He was just watching what was happening, but all of a sudden, he is helping you carry your cross. Sometimes I try to do as little as I can and still get by. Others might need my help, but I ignore their needs. Even when I'm asked to help, I sometimes claim to be too busy. The Sixth Station Veronica Wipes the Face of Jesus We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because because by your your holy cross cross, you have have redeemed redeemed the the world. Jesus, suddenly a woman comes out of the crowd. Her name is Veronica. You can see how she cares for you as she takes a cloth and begins to wipe the blood and sweat from your face. She can't do much, but she offers what little help she can. I notice the needs of others around me. Sometimes my own family members need my attention and I don't seem to notice. Sometimes a co-worker, friend, or family member could use help or understanding, but I don't reach out to help because I might be criticized or that they may demand more of me than I'd like to give. The Seventh Station Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because Because by your holy cross you have have redeemed redeemed the world. This is the second time you have fallen on the road. As the cross grows heavier and heavier, it becomes more difficult to get up. But you continue to struggle and try until you're up and walking again. You don't give up. I think I should know more than I do. I become impatient with myself and find it hard to believe in myself when I fall. It is easy to despair over small things, and sometimes I do. Help me when things seem difficult for me. Even when it's hard, help me to get up and keep trying as you did. Help me to do my best without comparing myself with others. The 8th Station Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, as you carry your cross, you see a group of women along the road. As you pass by, you see they are sad, they are weeping. You stop to spend a moment with them, to offer them some encouragement. Although you have been abandoned by your friends and are in pain, you stop and try to help them. There are times I become so absorbed in myself and what I'd like that I forget about the needs of others. I take those I encounter for granted and often ignore their needs. Help me to respond to those in need even when I'm busy or preoccupied with my own problems. The ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because Because by your holy cross you have have redeemed redeemed the world. Jesus, your journey has been long. You fall again beneath your cross. You know your journey is coming to an end. You struggle, yet you get back up and keep going. I often feel I should have conquered my weaknesses by now. I become discouraged when I am confronted by the same problems over and over again. Sometimes I get weary. When I have health problems, I can become discouraged and depressed. Help me think of the cross you carried. Help me continue to hope that I can make the changes in my life that I need to. You didn't give up. Help me to have the strength to get up again as well. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because Because by your holy cross you you have have redeemed redeemed the world. The soldiers notice you have something of value. They remove your cloak and throw dice for it. Your wounds are torn open once again. Some of the people in the crowd make fun of you. 
They tease you and challenge you to perform a miracle for them to see. At times, I repeat stories that are disrespectful of others. There are times I give the young people around me a bad example to follow. Help me to keep myself honest and humble. Help me to say things that encourage the people around me. Help me overcome worldly desires so I may become more like Jesus. Help me set a good example for others to follow. The eleventh station, Jesus is crucified. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. You are now stretched out on the cross you have carried. The soldiers take nails and drive them into your hands and feet. You feel abandoned by the people you loved so much. You have done nothing but good, yet they drive nails to your hands and feet. Sometimes I discriminate against others. Even without thinking, I judge others because of their race, intelligence, income level, or name. I forget that I am called to live as a brother or sister to all people. At times, I use harsh words when I speak to my children and family members. Help me look at the people around me. Help me see the hurt and pain I have caused in others. Be with me to help me make amends for the harm I have done. The Twelfth Station Jesus Dies on the Cross We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As Jesus hung on the cross, he forgave the soldiers who had crucified him and prayed for his mother and friends. Jesus wanted all of us to be able to live forever with God, so he gave his life for us. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. Jesus, let me reflect about your love for me. Help me thank you for your willingness to go to your death for me. Help me express my love for you. The Thirteenth Station Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, how brutally you were put to death. How gently you are taken from the cross. Your suffering and pain are ended, and you are put in the lap of your mother. The dirt and blood are wiped away. You are treated with love and compassion. I seem to be kinder when someone dies. If only I can learn to see the good things about them while they were alive. If only I would tell those around me how much I love them while I still have the opportunity to do so. Help me look for the good in those around me, especially those I love the most. Help me live this day as if it were the last. Help me become a more gentle and loving person through my greater appreciation for those around me. The 14th Station Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, your body is prepared for burial. Taking the body, Joseph of Arimathea wrapped it in clean linen and laid it in his new tomb. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. But Mary Magdalene and the other Mary remained sitting there, facing the tomb. I can be selfish. I can accumulate things and keep them for myself. I try to make sure I have what I want before I share what I have with anybody else. Help me think of Joseph of Arimathea, who risked his own life as he accepted Jesus' body for burial. Help me think of how Joseph loved Jesus so much that he gave him his own tomb.
every Friday in Lent is so special because of the Stations of the Cross. I am reminded of an experience that happened to me some years ago. I was alone with my cousin Martha in her hospital room. I was watching her die. Thought I kept a strong face. I was sad, disoriented, frightened and confused. My cousin Martha was like a little sister for me, a lighthouse in the tempest. She was always there with a smile. But here she was now so close to death. She couldn't speak. Her hospital room was quiet, except for the beep of the heart monitor and her own labored breathing. I knew I was going to lose her, and I knew I was going to lose her soon. I took her frail, soft hand into mine and just held it as I looked into her pale, water-blue eyes. For a fleeting moment, I thought her young, her young light flashed into, in front of me. Wait, I thought afterward, isn't that supposed to happen when I die? But at the moment, I felt as if all her stories had all been downloaded through the palm of my hand and into my heart. No words were spoken, but just being in her presence while she was suffering made me feel closer to her than I had ever felt before. Martha would die a few days later. I wasn't in her hospital room when it happened, but to this day, I carry her life around inside me, and I am a better person for it. Having been there with her during those painful and precious moments created a band and an understanding that continues to affect my life. Sometime later, after her funeral, I was drawn to the Stations of the Cross. I don't know why. I just remember being in the church and looking at the stained glass the depictions of Jesus' last moments. I thought of my cousin and her struggles, and I, and I looked at the colorful images as the sun streamed in, casting an aquarium of colors on the floor. I realized that just as I had felt close to my cousin, as she made her way to God, I felt closer to Jesus as I spent time with him as he inched his way to God. I had never felt that before. It was late summer and I remember asking myself why the stations were relegated to land when suffering is around us all the time. Soon after that, I made the Stations of the Cross a regular spiritual exercise. As Christians, we celebrate Jesus' Passion every year, so we may fall into the trap of thinking that we know the story, like, hey, I have seen this movie before, I know what happens. But there is so much more going on that we might not know. When we meditate on the stations, no matter what time of year, no matter what we are going through, we allow God to speak to our suffering, to provide us with insight and 
what unfolded 2,000 years ago and what is unfolding in our very, very lives today. My dear friends, the Stations of the Cross isn't just a Lenten practice. It is a perennial ex exercise in spiritual awakening and a vital way of helping us carry our cross and the crosses of those around us. Amen.